we want to evaluate the indefinite integral or determine the antiderivative. To find the antiderivative, we'll be using the integration formula given here below, where the integral of e to the u integrated with respect to u is equal to e to the u plus c. Notice in our case, because the exponent is not just x, when integrating with respect to x, we'll have to perform a u substitution or a change of variables. So to begin, we'll let u be equal to the exponent of 0.09x. Next, we need to find differential u, or du, which is equal to the derivative of 0.09x with respect to x times dx. So we'd have du equals 0.09 times dx. But notice how we don't have 0.09 dx as part of our integral. So we'll solve this for dx by dividing by 0.09 on both sides. Simplifying, we now know that one over 0.09 times du equals dx. So the next step, we'll write the integral in terms of u. Let's go ahead and factor out the 290. So we have 290 times the integral of e raised to the power of u, since u equals 0.09x. Now we're left with dx, but dx equals one over 0.09 times du. So let's go ahead and factor out the fraction and then we have our differential u. Notice how now our integral fits the formula perfectly. So the antiderivative is going to be 290 divided by 0.09 times e to the u, where u is 0.09x plus c. So this is our antiderivative, and our Hormack system will accept it in this form here. Let's go ahead and simplify this quotient here. We can try to do this on the calculator, but it might not work. Let's try. 290 divided by 0 0.09 equals, we don't want a decimal approximation, we want the exact value. If we press math, enter, enter, it's not converting it back to an improper fraction, so we don't want to use the calculator to simplify this quotient. Let's do it by hand. So 290 divided by 0 0.09, that's 9 hundredths. This is equivalent to 290. Instead of dividing by 9 hundredths, we can multiply by the reciprocal of 100 ninths. So times 100 ninths. This gives us 29,000 ninths. So we can also give the antiderivative as 29,000 ninths times e raised to the power of 0.09x plus c. And again, for homework, either form is acceptable. I hope you found this helpful.